Hi you all and welcome to my channel Overcoming Gluttony 2023. My name is Alicia and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I'm going to update you about what my new weight is in just a moment because today is weigh in Wednesday and the format of today's vlog will be different than my usual vlogs. I'm going to go over what my non-scale victories have been for the past week, the lies that I've told myself regarding health this week, also the junk food that I've eaten this week, and we will find out what my new weight is. So before I go any further, let me let you know that I have been on a natural weight loss journey since July of 2020. And I am not focused on a number on the scale. My ambition is to gain a healthy lifestyle. I want to have healthy habits. It's not that I'm necessarily looking at becoming a certain weight or losing a certain amount of weight. So my way of losing weight is to change one or two behaviors every year that will help me gain a healthy lifestyle. So the goals that I've chosen for myself for the year 2023 is to drink 60 ounces of, or to have my breakfast consist of 60 ounces of water and four servings of raw vegetables. And to also walk for an hour before I go to work each day. And I have been successful at completing these goals 96% of the time. That is the number that I'm focused on, is how frequently am I performing these goals? And I am so happy that I'm reaching it at 96% of the time, hooray. Especially since it's the beginning of May and I tend to, because we have special meetings at the beginning of the month at my job, this is when I usually tend to fall or slip up. But for the first time in five months, I did not mess up on my goals. And I'm really happy about that because for every single month this year, at the beginning of the month, that is when I fall. But this is the first month where I didn't. So, yay. Um, so, with that being said... My new weight is, dun, 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 drum roll please, my new weight is 252 pounds. Last week I was 250. This week I weigh 252 pounds. Okay, that seems to be a two weight, a two pound gain right? And the reason why I say it seems to be a two pound gain is because I don't feel like that's quite accurate. Even though the scale says that I weigh 252 pounds, um, I don't think that the scale is accurate. That might be a lie that I'm telling myself because I have not had any junk food this week. So why am I gaining weight if I haven't had junk food? Well, what I tell myself is I'm just going to wait until the end of the month see what my weight is and see my measurements. I'm pretty sure that my measurements are going to be quite amazing. Yeah, that's what I feel like my measurements will be pretty amazing because I usually spend anywhere between 20 to $120 on junk food each week. I guess my average would be about 40 to $50 and I spent absolutely zero on junk food. So, yay, what a huge thing. I I spend a lot of time with you all showing you all the junk food that I've had and all the wrappers and stuff like that. And um, I don't really have anything to show you as far as junk food. But you may say differently when I talk to you a little bit more. Let me show you this one thing. Mm. 
Now, I don't know if you all are gonna consider this junk food or not, but I, I grabbed it anyway just to talk with you all about it and get your feedback. I wasn't sure about whether or not I should show you all this. And sorry, y'all. I thought I had it, but I guess I don't. I wanted to show you this little wrapper. It's about this big. It's actually a little cup. And um, I was in Costco and I was shopping for some tortilla, some taco shells and tortilla chips. And I was thinking, they had these samples of tortilla chips, right? And I was thinking, hmm, let me try a sample. And I was like, should I save this cup, this little paper that's about this round of tortilla chips to show the people on my YouTube channel the junk food I've had this week? But, um, I don't know what I did with that thing. But it was like a little sample size of tortilla chips and I was like, no, I don't think that that really counts as, as junk food because I am shopping for tortilla chips. I did buy some tortilla chips so that I can make, I can have my own refried beans and tortilla chips and the type of chips that I was getting or that I actually purchased are organic and um, I think that that would be healthy and I don't consider it junk food because I'm eating it with my meal. I'm eating it with the refried beans that I make for myself. And it is a healthy tortilla chip. So I don't know. If there were any junk food that I bought, that would be it. And one other thing. I bought six tamales off of someone selling tamales in a parking lot. They were chicken and green chili tamales. I didn't eat the chicken and the green chili. I just removed that out of the tamales. Um, and I was wondering, is this considered junk food? But I don't think it is because when I buy tamales, that's how I buy them. I buy them off of people that sell them in the parking lot. I actually hunt for people selling tamales in a parking lot. When I pass by a Latino grocery store, I am looking for the person who's selling the tamales in the parking lot. Or if there's a soccer game going on, I am looking for someone who's selling tamales out of the back of their car in the parking lot. So, um, you guys may say, yes, that is junk food because you didn't prepare it yourself. I'm not gonna prepare tamales. I don't, I've done it before, it's way too much work. I like to buy them off of people that know the tried and true, tasty, delicious recipe that's gonna make my belly happy. So, I did wanna tell you guys those things. Um, and like I said, I don't consider that junk food, but you all can comment about whether or not it's junk food. I'm, I'm, my vote is no. So now, and I feel really good. Like, hey, I've saved money. I haven't been spending money on junk food. So now let's go into the lies that I've told myself for this week. I don't believe that I've told myself any lies pertaining to my health but I could see where you all can say, Alicia, you're lying about those organic tortilla chips and you're lying about those tamales not being junk food. All right, you might, you might say that. But I also bought some organic taco shells um, that you all will be able to see if you decide to watch my video on what I've meal prepped and... Um, what I've eaten this week and all the food that I have in my household. So now <laughs> moving on to the non-scale victories that I've had this week. Ooh, so happy. All right, 
the nine scale victories. So since January of 2023, I've lost 27 pounds, which equals, well, technically I've lost 75 pounds. Uh, no, wait. Okay, let me, let me, let me stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Since 2020, I've lost 75 to 77 pounds. And since the beginning of this year, 2023, I've lost 27 pounds. And now that I'm like shrinking in size, I'm noticing that kids are being nicer to me. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Kids are like waving to me more. They're being more friendly. I guess they see me as less threatening or less scary and also I'm getting a lot more attention from men when I walk down the street like I'm like really 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 another thing is when I get out of bed and I'm like unclothed I notice that my body is svelte I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but the word is s-v-e-l-t it's svelte. Now, I'm not saying that, oh, I'm so fit and I'm so athletic and built and I'm cut and I'm ripped. But I'm noticing that I'm more svelte than it is blubbery and floppish. Um, I can now see myself as having an athletic frame. Do I have an athletic frame now? No. But I can see myself as getting there. Whereas before, I always envisioned myself when I reached my, um, when I reached the point of being satisfied with my body and how it looks, I've always kind of envisioned myself as being what they call thick, thick fit. I never really envisioned myself as, even though I wanted tone arms, I didn't really think I'd get it. I didn't, I just always felt like I'd have extra fat on my body. Whereas now I feel like I won't have too much extra fat on my body. I saw this other YouTuber who was talking about her weight loss journey. And she is a holistic nutritionist. And I related to her because she was my height and I'm also into holistic type of things. And so when she was giving advice, she had mentioned something that was completely contrary to what I've always thought. I've always figured 180 pounds is a good weight for someone that is my height. This is Alicia's standard, not the medical society standard, but Alicia's standard. And she was saying, um, you shouldn't be more than, I think she said you shouldn't be more than 170, but um, you could be between 150 and 170, but no more than that. And I actually took to heart what she said when normally I don't take it to heart, but I think that she found a way, like I was able, I, I chose to adhere to what she was saying because we had a lot of similarities. And um, my non-scale victory in regards to that was, my mindset was, oh, okay. So if I need to lose 100 pounds as opposed to just 60 more pounds or 80 more pounds, sure, no problem. I could lose, I could lose 100 pounds, no worries, okay. Whereas, you know, who, who feels that way? Who feels like, oh, lose 100 pounds, okay, no problem. That was me. I do. I feel that way. You need me to lose 100 pounds? I got you. I got you. I can do it. I got you. So, you know, it's really, that's really, it feels really good to come from a spot to where you have this huge goal and you feel so confident about it. You know, especially for someone like me who has failed in PE over and over and over and over and over again failed at losing weight over and over and over and over again and now it's like oh i need to lose 100 pounds i got you you know i feel good yay um 
I went into Lane Bryant. And there's a certain item, there's a particular item that I buy from Lane Bryant and Lane Bryant exclusively. I don't care if they charge me $100. I'm buying these items from Lane Bryant and only them until I get smaller. Um, <sighs> the staff at Lane Bryant are fantastic. I think that they really help larger women, big girls, feel really good, feel really confident. That is a place where you can flourish if you are a larger plus size woman. I think that whenever I walk in there, they always seem to have an upbeat, helpful attitude. And it seems like it's a place where bigger women can feel, I don't want to use the word accepted, but comfortable because who wants to feel accepted? In order to feel accepted, that means that you might not be accepted or that you're not accepted, so you want to feel accepted. So, yeah, with Lane Bryant, um, their staff is really great. So I am not discouraging people from shopping at Lane Bryant. That's not my intentions or anything like that. When I went into Lane Bryant to buy these particular items, I stood in line and I noticed the customers. This was a really eye-opening experience for me. Um, I don't know why I didn't see this before in the past, maybe because I wasn't interested in health and I blended right on in with them. But there were about four customers that were ahead of me and now that I've been more serious about my health journey my eyes were a bit more opened than usual and what I noticed was quite startling for me what I saw in the customers were women who had severely let themselves go now, I'm not trying to place judgment or know where they're coming from or their backgrounds or whatever, but I saw women who were wearing clothing that wasn't very appealing. It could have passed for pajamas, some of them. Not that they were pajamas, they weren't pajamas, but they looked like, you know, just like, like you didn't care for yourself. Another customer that was in there was in a walker. And um, she actually wasn't a customer. She was with a customer, a co accompanying a customer. And if I had to guess her age, I would say she was like maybe in her 60s or whatever. I can't determine or decide why she needed a walker. That's not my place. But what I did say to myself is, I want to overcome this type of a lifestyle. I want to overcome being frumpy and neglecting my body and just looking severely out of shape. And the women themselves, they didn't seem to be happy or perky about life. They seem to be pretty downtrodden. So I'm not attempting to criticize them, but I just wanted to talk about how I want to be freed from that future. Yeah, and I had some um, minuscule interactions with them, and I just felt really, I felt really sad, you know, I felt kind of sad for them, because here I am all upbeat and happy about life, accomplishing my goals, and it seems like they were, like I said, pretty, pretty um, downtrodden, downtrodden, and... 
miserable. So another non-scale victory is I have some more creative meals. Uh, you can watch my video about what I've eaten this week and see that my, well, I'll let you watch the video. <laughs> Another non-scale victory was I was out and about and I looked down and I saw this bush and I looked at it and I'm like, is that a rosemary bush? I didn't know they had rosemary bushes. So I picked off one of the leaves and I smelled it and I was like, mm, that is rosemary. I'm like, oh, there's free rosemary all around me. It's not really free, it's not mine to take, but I've never noticed that people use rosemary as decorations. Um, it, was, it was out in the front of a 7-Eleven. And because I'm on this health journey and doing healthier things, I can now identify different herbs that are used as decorations, whereas before, I wouldn't have paid any attention. It just would have been a regular old bush. But now I have more knowledge since I'm on this health journey. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a silhouette of a person that is attempting to lose weight. Like, have you ever seen those silhouettes of people who are who are in the process of of losing weight so I'll show you all one really quick So, typically for me, I can relate to the person who's all the way at the end, the fattest person. But now I am relating more to here or here. So that is an accomplishment for me. And this person seems relatively skinny compared to where I've been. So I'm happy that I'm more relating to the people getting closer to the healthier size. So, and I'm being honest with myself as far as, oh, okay, where am I on this, on this pattern? Am I, um... Normally, I just automatically identify with the fattest person on the silhouette trail, but now I'm identifying more with a more slimmer version. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. And um, today is the 10th day that I have gone without junk food. So... That means I have been a thousand percent successful without with going with going without junk food. And you know, that feels pretty good. Rather than saying, Oh, I've gone ten days without junk food, I prefer each day I get one hundred percent. So because I went a hundred percent of the day with no junk food, then hey, that gets a hundred those hundred percents keeps adding up and now I'm at a thousand percent of going without junk food. So I'm particularly happy about that. Um, at the beginning of the month, I had a meeting and I did not skip or neglect to do my goals, which is what I usually do every single month. But this month I was successful at hitting my goals. Um, my shoulders are rounder. I actually can see shoulder blades on the back. Like, I never saw those. I never saw shoulder blades on my body. 
I didn't know I had them, but now I do have shoulder blades. And I was looking and I'm like, oh, look at this. I got shoulder blades. Let me just introduce myself and actually look at my shoulder blades. Wow. Uh, sometimes I have to run and you know like running for something or running to get somebody and when i had to run this week it was just like a few blocks not a few blocks but just maybe a block and a half um i felt confident about running and i felt lighter as i ran normally if i have to run for something i'm like oh god here we go but this time i felt comfortable with it um the fronts of my thighs are looking a lot more smaller and I am taking better pictures so what does that mean Alicia that you're taking better pictures well I'll show you some pictures of myself it last week I took some pictures I showed you guys this this one last week with some other pictures. So this was a picture of me from last week at my job. My boss brought me some strawberries and some mangoes and um, she wanted to take a picture and have us posted to show everybody, hey, when you do a good job, you get rewarded. And this picture was um, posted with me and she's on the other side of me. She's cut out of the picture. And um, And so, when I looked at this picture, I was quite shocked that that's what I look like. I'm not used to looking so narrow. I'm used to looking more round. And then I got a membership to a, um, to Costco, and I took this picture. I don't know if I can show that that well. And when I saw this picture of me, I'm like, wow. My face is really lean. I look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> um, and normally I'm used to seeing like a really round balloon face versus that face right there. So I'm like, woo, really? Is this really me? So yeah, I'm taking better looking pictures. I don't know if you guys can see that that well, but yeah. So those are my non-scale victories. I thought this video would be shorter since I didn't have as much junk food this week, but apparently it's not, but that's okay. We'll make it through it. Thank you so much for watching this Way in Wednesday. And um, when I see you all next time, we will be talking about forming new relationships. And hey, I gained, according to the scale, two pounds this week, but I'm not believing it. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to write it out and keep doing my successful things that I've been doing to lose weight. And um, we're going to ride this thing out and we'll see where I end up. I hope to see you guys again for Weigh In Wednesday next week. And please join me on my vlog for tomorrow where we will be talking about forming new relationships. Thank you. Bye.